<laughs> wow, wow, wow. I'm here in Havar on the airport and it's basically just me having my own airport to fly at. So I've been racing, that was awesome. And I've been spending some time traveling around, uh, down the coast. I left uh, Rijeka, used to go down to a really small city called Nien to do kite surfing. But that was not possible because to do kite surfing, you need wind. And it was with no wind whatsoever. And that's really sad. I mean, Nien is a beautiful place where you can basically kite surf outside the city walls super super cool so during the summers it's like 50 60 kite surfers there at the same time unfortunately i couldn't do that so i had to keep on like going down south i went down to split i stayed in split for a day or two i've been having a really bad cold so i've not been really active so just it was nice to just be around in the in the van and uh, I went into Split just to see. I'm not a big fan of big cities, but I went in there just to check out the vibe and check out the city. Beautiful, nice city. And then I took the ferry with the, with the van and we went over here to Havar. <laughs> I just made it to the airport and the roads here was like the smallest roads along these like amazing olive trees, plantage and uh, I parked my van basically like on the <laughs> landing strip is right here behind me. There we are, it's the landing strip. And Man, this is just amazing. So I'm gonna get off my gear and go for a sunset flight. Ooh. Was amazing and a little bit shaky as well but I got a flight out of the day it took a little bit too long to set everything up so I didn't really catch the sunset but 
tomorrow I'm gonna catch the sunrise. <laughs> for sure. Ah, I'm gonna live for this, live on this for so long now. That was amazing. And here come some viewers as well. Hi. <laughs> They're like stupid people. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm gonna pack up this stuff now. Well, good morning. What a morning it is. It's beautiful. And it's literally just like me and the airplane here on the airfield. So I'm gonna set up my gears because it's absolutely no wind whatsoever. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. So I'm gonna set up my gear and I'm gonna go for a early morning flight and then after that, I will have breakfast. Ah, oh, this is what I live for. This is so good. <laughs> okay, let's pack up and go. Good morning, babe. Good morning, power model. So it's called my poor mom to tell her that I'm gonna go out flying. And well, she's super happy that I'm actually calling before I go out flying, but she's not so happy that I'm alone on an airfield. <laughs> I'm gonna go out flying. But I told her I'm gonna fly now and I call her back in like an hour. So she's happy. I'm happy. Let's go fly. Was it the voice? Was it the fire? Burning in me All of the noise Turned into choirs of harmony Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke But since you left me alone I've been Oh my god, was that amazing! Oh, I've been having one of the best flights ever, I think. I don't know how long I've been up, probably half an hour, an hour. Uh, it's just been 
amazing, super, super calm. So I've been able to like try to get to know how to maneuver the the, the, the glider and the, the motor together better. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I've been flying between uh, trees and stuff. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's just amazing. And there's no one around here. So that gives me the opportunity to do this. Wow, that was just that was just beautiful. Now, pack up my gear and enjoy some breakfast with a big smile on my face. Yoo-hoo! Okay, ready to go for a little bit of a cruise. So that's done, breakfast is done, and I've been doing some settings for my motorbike, and I'm running a lot of my, my photos with my Insta360 camera at the moment, and I just love it because like with all the like activities, like sport activities that I do, it just catches everything like with a GoPro, like a normal GoPro, you come down and you say, think like, oh my God, that was amazing footage. And you missed it because like the angle was wrong or whatever but here you come down and you're even more excited because you have more time to sit in front of your camera and check out whatever you can do with the photos and get all the angles and zoom in and zoom out so with the motorbike right now i got that and that when the selfie stick disappears in the footage this looks like someone is hoovering with a drone just behind me so I'm gonna show you hope this is working out well because this is the first time I'm trying this <laughs>
last day of flying before I gonna leave Havar to go down south in uh, Croatia. Uh, I'm not gonna take any cameras or anything with me today because I just wanna be up there and enjoy and just practice the wing and do some foot dragging because that's my thing now. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, so I gotta be out for like 30, 40 minutes. That's about it. And then you get, you know, yeah, you wanna land. You wanna do it again another day. And that's, yeah, I, I can basically fly like four hours with the, with the motor, with a full tank, but it's, if you don't do like cross country flying, it's, yeah, at least for me, it's not necessary. An hour, 40 minutes, that's, that's perfect. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so they're standing around here with like orange vests and I don't know if they're hunting or something. I might just ask them before I go flying so I don't go out flying and they get super mad. Just start shoot after me. Okay, I just talked to the guy. They, apparently they are hunting rabbits. So he said it was absolutely no problem that I was gonna go flying. And I'm like the sound and everything. He's like, no, 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 that's fine. Just go fly. So that's what I'm gonna do. This little fella went up with me in the air and when this tangle with other uh, lines what happened is that the, the wing changes the shape which means that it can turn or it can do all kind of weird stuff. Uh, I managed to get it out because my wing was always in the left turn but I managed to kind of get it hanging in just one line but now when I'm down it's just hanging in a couple of lines again. This field is probably like the worst field I ever started at because everything is like this. It's like hooking into everything, everywhere. Like all of this is so annoying. But apart from that, I had an amazing flight. So now I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and head off Havar. <laughs> well, two days, no, three days, three days to an end of flying, which has been awesome, awesome. I missed yesterday's sunset flight because of, uh, I was just too late from, from driving the bike around. Uh, <laughs> this guy told me that, you, oh, you have a motorbike, yeah, you can just go all around this. And he showed me these ways and roads. He, um, he didn't realize I had a sport bike and the roads was just terrible like i'm so i think it's so sad for my bike right now because it's full of dirt and my uh, air take oh, air filter like the intake it's it's really close to the ground so it's basically like sucking all that shit in <laughs> but it's been amazing flying uh, i've been practicing my foot dragging for two mornings now because in the mornings it's like no wind it's no turbulence nothing it's just been amazing to cruise around like dragging my feet and like get to know the glider and the, the motor better and for my own like knowledge because i'm not that advanced in the flying and then cruising around some trees and you just be up there and have this amazing view which has been ah awesome this is probably some of the best one of two of the best flights i ever ever had like these two mornings just been whew, unreal so now it's time to pack up my van which is almost done the motor of the engine is in it's just the bike that needs to go in and then i'm heading off havar down south so i took the ferry from split to havar and now i'm gonna uh, drive all the way down to the end of Havar and I'm gonna take another ferry off there. Let's go!
look at how they built the roads. It's so sketchy. It's like it's just an edge. And then if you go outside, like if I go outside with my, with my van, I'd probably just flip over. It's crazy. It's everywhere. And like the, the road is just getting thinner and thinner. You see this? Oh, and they have like small bridge passes as well. And it's just the same. Oh, you see? Straight down. And my car feels so wide. Ah! So, so, so tight. Mm, don't like this. And I still have like 50 minutes to go before I'm at my destination. Wish me luck. I made it, even if the roads were terrible, so here we are making lunch and this is basically where I stand to be taken on the ferry. Awesome. That's it for this time guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy. Please write something in the comments if you have any suggestions, otherwise see you the next vlog. Bye.